Hello, today we're going to talk about the Lean Six Sigma Concept 5S. Let's dive in. A messy and cluttered workplace increases waste and drastically hinders productivity. In the image on the left, we see the workers confused about the location of the tools needed to get the job done. In the image on the right, we see the pathway of a worker over the course of their workday, moving between each tool they need to get the job done. Their path is messy and convoluted. On the other side of this, organizing a thoughtful workplace that flows with the worker's task opens up an opportunity for greater productivity and quality. The improved organization of the tools on the right shows that the employee's path is now a lot more streamlined. All of this can be achieved with 5S. So what is 5S? 5S is defined as a methodology. Specifically, 5S is a mnemonic for remembering the five pillars of the visual workplace. In a visual workplace, visual cues from signs to prepared kits show people how to carry out operations safely and efficiently. Let's observe this workstation as we go over the 5S methodology. The first pillar is sort. Sort forms the foundation for the other steps in the 5S system. If you haven't sorted, you'll spend more time and attention on the other steps down the line. The goal of sorting is to leave behind only the necessary items that are needed to complete the work. Here we see a workstation that is well sorted. Every tool has a place that is marked by a painted place mark to make its intended place quickly and easily identifiable. The next pillar of a visual workplace is set in order. Only after the workplace contains only necessary items is it useful to start setting things in order. The goal of the second step in the 5S system is to arrange those necessary items that you sorted into the most efficient place to get the work done. When doing the setting and order step of the 5S system, a common tool is a 5S map. The 5S map starts as a diagram of the workspace, such as a floor plan, and then adds the path that people take to get their work done. Using our example from earlier, we see this, that setting the items the worker needs in order really helps to streamline the process, from the butcher table, to the trash can, to the oven, and ultimately to the food delivery window. Next up is Shine. Among the 5S steps, Shine can be the most difficult to relate to. While Shine implies that cleaning should take place, the completion of the step means more than a one-time cleaning. In general, the benefits of the Shine step will depend on the industry where you're applying the 5S methodology. In a machine shop, the Shine step would include both maintaining machines and making an ongoing plan for that maintenance. The maintenance makes sure that the machines are always ready to use and stay in good condition as long as possible. In a hospital, the Shine step would include both sanitizing high-touch areas, like remote controls in patient rooms, and making a plan that shows how often someone will sanitize. Next up is standardize. Once the first three steps are complete, the standardized step combines the routine activities from all three steps into a more complete plan. The goal of the standardized step is that everything you need to do to maintain sorting, order, and shining are planned. Sorting might be done daily as people remove unnecessary items from the workplace. People might set things in order at the end of every shift, making sure that items are back where they belong before the next work shift or next workday begins. The definition of who will do each needed activity how to do the activity, and how often to do the activity will all be completed at the end of the standardized step. Finally, sustain. While standardization describes how you will do the ongoing activities that achieve the first three parts of the 5S system, the sustain step is about the processes and systems that you develop so that you keep doing the activities laid out in the standardization step. In some organizations, daily walkthroughs and 5S audits are completed by supervisors to measure adherence to the activities outlined in the standardized step. You might also see these ongoing checks incorporated into competitions or incentive programs to keep people invested in doing the 5S methodology. Why implement 5S? Lean undertakings that implement the 5S methodology are not without effort, so the benefits should be clear before you begin. Increased productivity, fewer defects, decreased waiting times, increased workplace safety are all things you will achieve by implementing 5S. 5S is only one of many useful lean tools that you can use to improve your processes and businesses. If you're ready to learn more about lean tools, check out GoSkills range of courses. 
Whether you're looking for yellow belt, green belt, or black belt, GoSkills has information that you can use to improve your processes and see your projects succeed. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and check out GoSkills.com for more career boosting tips.